something good has to be in store for me after suffering through that interrogation. Patience is always rewarded, right? Breaking news at this hour. What? Hey, mister. You a winner? Some say. Awesome. That's good enough for me. The name's Vash, and I could really use your help. Truth is, I bungled a Queen's Blood match. Hard. So, not only did my ego take a licking, but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is... I think you'd be able to win it back for me. The Chocobo and Moogle one. It's rare, and the one high-value card in my whole deck. It was the only thing getting me through the daily grind. I mean, the bullshit I have to put up with at this job. The fights, the late nights, the drunks, and that slimy bastard. He... He's... Hey, I get it. I'm a bartender, too. You... You are? So then you know. She's so tough, it can be... Oh, thank you. Thank you. But first, I gotta make sure I'm putting my baby's fate in the right hands. Mind if we go around?
Okay, that's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll beat Virgil, no prob. That's the guy you gotta play. The one who took my card. He works at the clock tower. Mind kicking his ass for me? And when you're done, come straight back. I'll have a special cocktail waiting with your name on it. Got this great recipe. I've been itching to try again. Security forces performed a thorough sweep of the town, during which time it was... She's late. Too late. you took from the bartender. Ah, the card. So, Vash has resorted to this, hiring people to win his games for it. <laughs> Fine, but word of warning, I'm not a pushover like some folks. Damn, I really lost? It was one hell of a match, though. Am I right? You and I are definitely gonna have to play again sometime. But, uh, not today. Gotta run. Hold it. Aren't we forgetting something? <laughs> right, the card. The one I won off Fash, right? Oh, shoot. Which card was that again? Oh, crap, I remember. The Chocobo and Moogle one. 
So this is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. Is that so? No, seriously, I, I flipped it. I was on my last gill, so I had to sell it to a card collector. A guy named Thorin. He runs this card shop outside of town. Maybe check with him? A merc's job is never done, am I right? Or selling. We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle card. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that feud. At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. So, you game? those cards, boy.
You've got some serious skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A-game. This isn't the first card I've lost. And considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely wasted on me. Here. It's probably better off with you. Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your drinks? So. This guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. Don't know if you heard of the joint. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. Pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. Thanks. You know, that was just what I needed. I knew you'd like it. Although, apparently, my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the cake it needs. Trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that Seventh Heaven bartender! Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night, with bells on. Promise.
to see Shinra hasn't caught you yet. Seeing as you're here, mind help me with something? I'm Oliver, by the way, owner of this farm. Got fiend trouble. Every night it comes after my livestock. At least I assume a fiend's to blame. Think you could find and deal with it? Not much, save the bastard's smart as hell. Managed to evade every trap I've set. Even hired a hunter to get rid of it, but that would bust. The ecosystem here is something special, worth protecting. Don't want Shinra messing it up, and I'm not afraid to say so out loud. One day, some like-minded folks came around. They put me in touch with Broden and Avalanche. Impressive the way that committee is able to connect people. Appreciate it. Is that your dog there? Might have a pet him? I don't, but he might. Who's a good boy? It's you. <laughs> Something tells me he's not all bark. Hey, you know, your pup might be able to track the fiend's scent. Maybe try sniffing around the scene of the crime. several days since the attack, so the scent isn't fresh. Other animals have come and gone as well. This won't be easy. Hmm. Think a chocobo could handle it? Hmm. Their sense of smell is indeed impressive, but this trail is still quite poor. Though if you wish to try, I won't stop you. still have a faint impression of the scent. Together we can find the beast. You want to track it from here on out? No, the chocobo has led us this far after all. a struggle here not long ago. I can help guide the bird. I'm sure it doesn't strike. Yeah. <laughs> 
there. sense of smell. Since my imprisonment in the Shinra building, it hasn't been the same. Before, I wouldn't have had any trouble tracking that scent. Now, though... <laughs> Perhaps this bird is willing to take on an apprentice. Did you? Made that bastard pay? Nice go. And I bet you were a big help too, weren't you? <laughs> You'll be singing a different tune when you see what I got for you. Here. Don't worry, I didn't forget you. Changing gears a bit, but uh, I heard Broden's not feeling so hot. If you swing by calm again, Mind checking on him? <laughs> 